yesterday, President Trump announced that the United States is withdrawing from the Paris Climate Accords, mostly for economic reasons. But somewhat surprisingly, a lot of people in the business community oppose this move, including the brilliant Andrew Liveris. He's the CEO of Dow Chemical. He's also the head of the president's manufacturing council. Apparently, Liveris was the driving force behind that full-page ad in the Wall Street Journal last month, where 30 CEOs from major companies publicly backed the Paris deal. This is from the Washington Post. Now, you might think a huge chemical company that burns lots of fossil fuels would be the other side of the issue, but Andrew has been an early and insistent activist for ambitious goals in fighting climate change taught me a lot about it, and that was well out of the Paris Accords a couple years ago. Now, there's a lot going on with Dow Chemical here, too, besides politics that we got to talk about. Upcoming tie-up with DuPont that should close in August, along with a subsequent breakup into three different businesses, one for materials like plastics, one specialty chemicals, and then that agriculture business. Not to mention the recent dispute with Third Point, the hedge fund run by Dan Loeb, activist investor who wants the Dow DuPont specialty chemical division to split up into four different companies that can be sold or spun off. Maybe he thinks that even more value can be created. Either way, I'm a big fan of the story and the man you're about to see. I like that Andrew Livers will be staying on as the chairman of the combined DuPont, Dow DuPont entity, the executive, until next April rather than retiring this month, which was what we originally thought. So let's check in with Andrew Livers, the longtime chairman and CEO of Dow Chemical. Andrew, thank you so much. Thank you, Good Jim. to see you, sir. Nice I always feel here. like that this might be the last time, and I don't want that because you've <laughs> created tremendous value for shareholders, but you've also been a great teacher to me Thank you, about how important it is to think internationally. And internationally means we've got to think about fighting climate change. This is something you taught me, but you've also been a great leader for American manufacturing. You're the head of the council. Tougher one for you to reconcile, particularly according to the Washington Post, that the president's daughter even appealed to you to fight for this one. Yeah. So, Jim, look, uh, we're disappointed. Um, the business community that's global, like Dow and right. many of my peers out there, really do believe that, you know, we have to put the science at work here and the business solutions at work. It's a new business model for all of us. Right. Sustainability. And sustainability yes. means we've got to solve these problems. First not... time I met you, that's the word you used. Yeah, and, and look, all the trends going on in the world, uh, generationally, we've got to invest in putting less carbon out in the atmosphere. Okay. And I think the United States is at the lead. So leaders don't leave tables. Leaders stay. And that's the part that I'm disappointed at. Okay, well, Bob Iger, who's a terrific guy and a great businessman like you, he decides he has to leave. Elon Musk, visionary, yeah. says he has to leave. You feel you can create uh, uh, maybe more of your viewpoint if you stay in than yeah. if you leave? Or is it the right thing to leave and write a check like Mayor Bloomberg did today? Well, look, there's a lot of emotion. Right. And I do believe that, like you, that you've got to let things calm. And one of the most important things about here is the White House is full of people who really do believe that there's better policies to be created here, In, inclusive right. of, you mentioned Ivanka and others. But look, but I she mean, did reach out to you. She did. And look, not just her. Okay. Many of us were reached out to, and including in my role as manufacturing. Here's the thing that we are saying and will continue to say right. by being at the table with the president. We're competitive in energy. Mm -hmm. Look at the low-cost natural gas, shale gas. Look at what we're doing at Dow. Right. $180 billion being built against low-cost energy in this country. Why have you That's creating the most carbon. manufacturing capacity of any company in this country? Yes, we have. Right. We will. And we will continue to invest right. against it. That's low carbon. Look at our renewable energy already when how many right. jobs it has, the solar, wind, and right. bios. We're going to keep supporting that. This is Advantage America. So now, can we keep all of our energy jobs? No. But can we manage the transition? Yes. I think this president, he just wants to manage the transition so coal miners don't get hurt overtly. There is a, there is a base of people out there. Look, we've got to respect the fact that he's the leader of the country. Right. I believe that we've got to stay engaged to get the better answers. You don't think you'll be fired? Fired? What, left, told that you're not the manufacturer, the head of the well, council? Well, hey, you know... Uh, there's always a chance of that. Right. I, I don't operate that way. Well, I was only apprentice. That's yeah. why I say that. <laughs> I love He's that. Like, You're that. fired, so I, I have it. to like. Okay, I, 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 you know, I had to think about your word. There. Yeah, remember that was a, that was a TV show, but this is the reality. You were very nice to me earlier by saying uh, I, I've taught you something. I don't think I have, but I have to tell you one thing. I do do. After 14 years of doing this job, you stay engaged, right. so you can change someone's mind, oh, so you can okay. get them to the right place. So you can have better outcomes. Maybe that's too optimistic. I believe you can be optimistic. Well, you're here. staying more engaged than I thought with the Dow Dupont. Now you have the past, the earnings you've created. Uh, 14 straight quarter, unbelievable cash flow, yeah. terrific. I must say, yeah. I think the stock could get to 71 on its own without du Dow Dupont, yes. but it's right to do together, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the three billion dollars a year of synergies right. is a is a is a game changer okay. with a zero tax deal, mm -hmm. okay, and no goodwill paid. This is a no brainer. 30 billion dollars of value, and, and the whole notion here is let's get it done as fast as we can. We yes, through, August. We got th exactly. We got right. through most of the regulatory stuff, almost there. So we execution of this, getting the 
synergies, focused on that, that's what, what I'm staying for. But I want you to stay longer. Mm -hmm. I want you to stay, no, listen, the materials, what you've done in materials yeah. is better than anyone, and you brought out more value from a division that people before you didn't think could have it. Yeah. Any chance you can stay on as one of these divisions or you're just gonna really 2018 sail into the sunset? <laughs> you're not a sunset sailor, Andrew. I, I am definitely not a sunset sailor. I am definitely a business builder. Right. And I do believe that there is a time when you, me, have a use by date. No, no, not uh, me, but you can. Not, maybe not you, but certainly I, I will go and do and do other things, but okay. I want to see enough of the deal through to get this value we promised our shareholders. Okay, then why is, you know, I know Mr. Loeb and you, they uh, had a little contra, Tom. I didn't like that movie he made of you. I thought that was very wrong. <laughs> but, you know, I understand that uh, things have patched up, but he still believes that you, you need even more iterations? You and Mr. Breen have created a lot of value in your life. I, yeah. how, much, how many iterations do we need here? Well, so here's the thing. Ed and I joined at the hip. Right. We totally joined at the hip. And he's we, dynamite. He's great. We are aligned. We've always said we will refresh the facts when we get close to the deal okay. being closed. We're going to do that. You are. We so are. You're open-minded. If, so, if there's very, a better plan. Very open-minded with a plan B, right. if there's a plan B. But here's the thing you've got to keep remembering. You know, if there is a lot of money to be left right. on the table here, shoot us now. If there isn't, okay, let's get on with getting the well, execution side. I was disappointed side. that uh, Tryon sold a lot of stock, and they felt it could be. Yeah, but look, people sell for many different reasons, and I did not do. speak to Nelson directly, so they I can't. They do, and remember what you said earlier. Both of our stocks have done extraordinarily well. Right. So is there more money on the table? We, that's a stock-picking game, right? Right, right? But here's the thing. We are focused on creating this materials company. Right. We're focused on creating this ag company. The specialty thing, that was almost like an afterthought, right? Okay. You've got to keep remembering that the value premise here is that powerful ag company. Right. And look what we created there. The whole industry moved. Right. The whole industry moved with our prime mover status. This materials company, you said it earlier. Oh, there is nothing out there like nothing. this materials company. Nothing. And it's a game changer. So look, we will refresh the look at the portfolio. Better facts. Right. We will do something different. Breen and I are aligned. Our shareholders want us to do this. Input from all shareholders, every shareholder is welcome. Okay, I want to leave on this point because it's really important. Job creation, one of the reasons why you're the head of the council is because of what you're doing in yeah. the southeast. Just tell our viewers the jobs you're creating. Now, come on, you took advantage. You're the one who's taking advantage of our low-cost energy more than anyone, any other executive in the country. Just yeah. tell people what you've done because you should be proud. Well, look, so the portfolio change at Dow has been 70%. Okay. We've got 18 straight quarters of earnings performance, highest margins ever. Mm -hmm. And we've done that by changing the portfolio and changing the nature of what we do from what I call commodity intensive to specialty intensive. Right. What that means is we can hire more people right. and we create more jobs. The types of plants we're building on the southeast part of the country are more people intensive. Taking advantage of the under $3 natural gas. So the low cost natural right. gas gives us the ability to put value chains in place that we previously wouldn't put in this country. Right. So as a result of that, we've created 10,000 new jobs on the southeast corner of the country, uh, in Texas, Louisiana, and we've just announced to create another five to 10,000. Uh, last thing, uh, are you done trying to influence the president this, or could you even just next week say, you know what, here's an idea. Maybe this is an idea that we can become more uh, important because I know that you care tremendously about America's standing in the world. So America has Our to standing. stand tall. Okay. We will stand tall as a business community. I'm very compelled to represent all my stakeholders okay. across the world. And if I have the privilege of this position, I can get fired. But if I have the privilege of this position, I will definitely keep putting that viewpoint into the White House. All right. Thank you. Let's leave it yeah. at that. That's Andrew Livers, chairman and CEO of Dow Chemical, who says he's leaving in 2018, but we're not going to accept that. We don't like that used by date. That's <laughs> not what you get from this man. Mad Money's back after the break. <laughs> Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.